I'm Jessica. And I'm Marley. And we are Marley Baby Do It. Do it. Hey everyone, I am your girl Jessica with Miley Made Me Do It. And today I got a sweet, like super cute little pattern. Um, it is a little Lizzie King pattern, of course. I just love them. Um, so, and it's the Astria pattern. Okay, so this is not a new pattern, but I think this is a really, really cute pattern. It's um, for boy or girls. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bubble. And you can, like, I, I, I mean, it's, it's summertime. It's about to be hot. Them kids don't need to be having all them clothes on because it's going to be hot outside. And especially Mississippi, like, most of the time Mississippi can't get it together. But, but when it's hot, it's hot. You know what I mean? So let me show you what we have here. Okay, so, um, well, first, let me just start off and go ahead to my computer. So I won't tell y'all nothing wrong because, honey, Trust me, I got some women that actually read this pattern. I don't read it. I look at pictures. We ain't not really talk about that. But, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what you'll need and what I have. Okay? All right, so what I have here, I have my front play suit. This is my back. These are my straps, and also it's um you need main and lining. Okay, so you need two of those. These are my straps here. Main and lining. This is the back of my, uh, this is my casing. And here are my flutter sleeves. If you're doing a boy version of this, of course you don't have to have the flutter sleeves. I did a seersucker one and I'm telling you, it was super de duper cute. Okay, like it was super cute. But I am doing girls because here in Mississippi, um, we have a the watermelon carnival in Water Valley. Get it? Watermelon, watermelon. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so we have that. And it's it's like a big deal. So all the mamas are out here looking for anything dealing with summertime watermelon. They ain't doing watermelon. You know, birthday parties, um, just all the fun stuff. So why not give them what they want? So, oh, and I can't forget that you're going to need some elastic, some three, um, three-fourth inch elastic, and you're going to need some um, elastic for your leg casing, I mean your legs, and um, also some bias tape, okay? This is a half inch, all right? You can make your own, I didn't. I mean, what's the point when Walmart can do it? <laughs> so you're gonna need some pins, and yeah. So, like I said, this is the Little Lizard King Astria pattern for little girls, boys, everybody, except us grown folks. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with our front play suit, okay? We're going to take this and have this right sides up. Grab your straps. You got four of them, okay? But right now we're going to use the, the main straps. And we're going to repeat this same step with our um, lining. So you grab your straps and we're going to put them right sides together here at the shoulder seam. Okay? Just like this. Pin. All right, put that to the side and let's do our lining. We have both our main and our lining pieces together, okay? It's right sides together on both of them. We're going to take this to our machine, and we're going to sew a half-inch seam allowance to attach at that shoulder seams here, okay? We're going to do that, and then when we get done, make sure that when you iron it, you're going to iron your um, iron your seams um, flat. Open them up and iron them flat, okay? So that's super important, not really, but you do what you want to do. You know, I don't play by the rules. Who does that? Uh, uh, yeah, so when we do that, I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to sew this and then I'll be back. Okay, okay so I have my, my front play suit sewn together, attached at the shoulder, at the shoulder seams here, okay? Now we're going to put this to the side. Now, and also, if you're doing the boy version of this, 
um you can skip of course the flutter sleeves but i'm adding flutter sleeves to make it like super cute so let's bring in our flutter sleeves if i can find it underneath all this stuff okay all right, bring in your flutter sleeves. We have two of these, okay? So when it's cut, it's already cut on the fold, okay? So it's cut on the fold. So what we're gonna do, we'll just take this to our iron and we're going to, we're going to just iron it, you know, to get it, get a good increase, you know, oil, and use some starch, cause I'm with the starch, okay? So we're gonna iron this and then we're going to also do a, um, a one fourth inch gathering stitch here along this curved edge okay so we're going to do that and this is going to make our ruffles all right okay. so um let's do that and then also make sure you check your tutorial because the tutorial for um have the different measurements if you're adding flutter sleeves they have the different measurements of where you um need to place your flutter sleeves so, so they will, you know, look good, okay? So make sure you refer to your pattern for that. So I'm going to go take this iron it and do my gathering stitches here, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have both of my flutter pieces, my flutter sleeve pieces. Um, I've sewn two gathering stitches. A gathering stitch is two long stitches, like you got like, yeah, it's a, like a long stitch, long, okay, you know. Boom. All right. So I got those done. So I'm just going to put this to the side for a second and I'm going to bring back in my main bodice. I mean, my main um, play suit. All right. Grab your ruler. Okay. So for the size um, play suit that I am making, it's, it's giving me my distance. Okay. From my straps. So let's see. Okay. So let me see. It says I need to measure down two inches from the strap where the strap seam is on both sides. Okay, just like that. And then, all right, so for mine, I need to measure up, let's see, boom, and here. Okay, so this is on, maybe I need to use the blue side. Let's stay on better. All right. Mm-hmm. Right here. Okay. All right. So I got my little measurements here. Got that backwards. From where I'm going to place my flutter sleeves. Okay. Now I'm going to use one side at a time. Already. So I'm going to place my flutter sleeves in between this, this, um, these two markings. All right. So what I'm going to do, and it's going to be right sides together. And this is where it's gonna line up it. So I'm gonna pull in my, so let's gather. Mm. It's something about like, I, I changed from a digital, a digital um sewing machine to, like just, I guess a non-digital one, you know? Cause I was like, well, you know, let's do something different. I wanna get me a little digital, you know, sewing machine that's gonna be heavy duty, which I mean, I love it and all, but I like it when I stop and my needle just still down in the fabric, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like to have to do that. And I feel like this machine that I have, it always like, it bunches up and stuff. A bit more. Well, I'm a, so now I'm just going to pin here, pin my ends. Boom. I'm gonna pin it right here with that little mark it. And then I just work my way the inside, you know, to make it fit. You're gonna do the same step for the other side. So let's do it. Okay, y'all, so I am done attaching my ruffles, and um, now I'm going to take this to my machine, and I'm going to do a basting stitch, okay? It's just, you know, no back stitching or anything like that. I'm just going to attach our ruffles back um, to 
our um, play suit. Um, you know, I don't know. I think it's just the fabric or whatever because, baby, these ruffles was giving me some hello, you know. And not the good hello either. Like, it was just giving me some hello. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do that and I'll be back. Okay, now, let's construct our play suit um, back, okay? I have, okay, so if I've already taken my um, elastic casing to the sewing machine, I mean, not the sewing machine, I'm sorry, the iron, and I ironed um, a half inch, okay? This, it would be this little, you know, like, it's, it's different. You see this right here, straight, and then it got that, that little, that little curve, you know what I'm saying, curve, <laughs> curve, like me. So, um, so that is what we're going to press half inch, okay? So, if you, you probably can't see it, but I've already taken my casing, and I folded in half, and then I marked just the center here. I also did that on the, um, the back of the play suit, because that's really important, you know, when you, when you're gonna be, you know, trying to get it right. Okay, so I've already did that. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to bring in our, the back of our um, play suit, and we're going to line the raw edge here to the raw edge of, top raw edge of our play suit here. And that marking is gonna be really, really important. Because when you are going to attach like your um, sleeve, not your sleeves, but your straps to it, it's going to be really, really important. You need to know where, you know, how far you have to go over. Okay, because that, that's in the tutorial. So we're going to do that. And we're going to take this to our machine and we're going to sew a half inch seam allowance to attach along this raw edge here. Okay, We're going to um, press this casing upward when we're done sewing it. And then we're gonna fold it over. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna fold it over. And then, once it's fold, we'll top stitch there. But I'll show you what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so I have sewn my elastic casing. And now, it's time to go back to your sewing, um, go back to your pattern and get your ruler. And you're gonna need those back button placement uh, markings, okay? From the center. So, go to there, go. Mm. So let me see. So now from my center, I need to go over. And then, uh, okay. Oh, I might need to use the blue. The purple is disappearing, which I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. All right. Okay. So there is where my placings, my, um, I'm gonna use snaps because I'm not doing no buttons. I ain't with that button hole crap. I mean, I can do it, but I don't want to do it. Them snaps are real cute. I put snaps on it. Okay, so I, um, I made my markings for my black, my back button placement spot. Okay, so now get your elastic and your safety pin, and we're going to thread our elastic. In on one side. This is going to be so cute, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I hope this thing flies the shelf. I have to make, like, it's, it's I guess as much as eight yards can, can make out of it. Because I was super blessed to be able to put my handmade clothes in our local, our local children's boutique called Jack and Claire's. Like, that was amazing do you hear me hopefully if i have time i can i can like slip the video in and you can just see what i got going like see what's going on so i gotta make a lot of these like shout out to the lord for doing what he do okay all right so i didn't thread it all the way through if you can see here i stopped right there towards the end so i'm going to take this to my machine and i'm going just to um sew just a stay stitch there and then i'll thread all the way out this other side and do another stitch here okay just to keep that elastic all together okay i'm not gonna stretch it out just yet because i don't like when i stretch it and it's all bunched up so i like these right here to be flat so i'm gonna do that and i'll be back okay so i have my elastic threaded through the back casing there like i said i'm not gonna stretch it just yet because when you stretch it, it's all bunched up, and we still have to attach it to our front place suit, okay? So now, I'm going to put this to the side for a second. 
Okay, just for a second, y'all. Boom, get your play suit out. I'm gonna get rid of all these darn threads because it's just way too many. Gonna end up in my chair later, but I worry about that when I later. Okay, all right. Probably shouldn't have did that, but whatever. I don't play by the rules. All right, next. Okay, so I have my play suit done. Okay, well, not done, but now grab your um the back play suit and we're going to line it up here where that leg the leg would be and we're going to pin and then we're also going to take this to our machine so hold on boom pin here and there and go to this other side and we're going to line it up right down here to there and pin y'all this is gonna be oh this is gonna be so cute oh my goodness All right, so we pin that there, okay? So we can take this to our machine and we can do a basting stitch. Do a basting stitch to keep this in place because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be bringing in our line. Okay, so we have our back attached to the front of our play suit, okay? Now let's get everything all straightened out and I'm gonna turn this towards me. So then bring in, Okay, so bring in your lining piece, and we're going to put these right sides together, okay? Right sides together. We're going to go here from the bottom, and we're going to pin all the way around. So, let me set it flat. So, let's pin. I think I'm going to like this way of... of um, filming because this time it's like I get to, you know what I'm saying, teach you and holler at you at the same time. <laughs> so now let's pin all the way around. So what I would suggest that you guys do though, is that I would suggest that you would just pin this outside first, okay? Both outsides first. And then, because since I have, I'm using, I have flutter sleeves, I would, I would just pin this outside first, I mean, sew the outside first, and then stuff the flutter, flutter sleeves from the other, on the other side, because you have to also sew around this neck, the, this, I'll show you, around here, boom, boom, all around there. And I wouldn't want you to get your flutter sleeves all caught up, get them worked too doggone hard. You know what I mean? We work smarter, not harder. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm taking this Zerti, and baby, this thing is drying your girl mouth out like a, the Sahara Desert or whatever, Sahara. One of them deserts this and it's dry. Boom. All right. And then, like I said, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this to my machine and sew up here first. All right. Down on both sides. Now, if I wasn't adding flutter sleeves, I would just take this whole motion. So down here, bam, bam. Here. Boop, 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 bam, bam. Boop, boom, boom, boom. Boom. Like that. But since I have flutter sleeves, because I want to be extra cute. I am going to just do one side and then we'll finish off the back, the, you know, the neck part of it. And then I will trim off, I trim off um, one fourth inch of the, of the seam allowance. Okay. And then I'll turn it right side out and then I will press it and you're going to see what the baby look like. I'll be back. I've top stitched and yeah, that's that's it. So man, I just I, I really like top stitch it, okay? You know, especially with the flutter sleeves. I, I would think you top stitch anything, you know, so with washing. But it looks great. It looks great. Okay, so now we're gonna take our lining. You know, we got our lining and our main here. And we're gonna start with our we're gonna attach our bias tape. So I just unfold it like this. Okay. 
All right, so I got my bias tape here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is right side of the, on the right side of the fabric, I am going to place my bias tape. Now, normally, I'm just sitting at the sewing machine. I don't pin. I do not pin these doggone bias tape thing on here. I just sit there and I wing it, okay? I wing it. But, since I'm a teacher today, you just take your bias tape and you just pin along. Make sure you got the main and your lining along this edge here, the raw edge. You do this with your other side too. So you're gonna see that it's a crease right up over here. And that's where you're gonna sew your bias tape. Um, um, that's gonna be like your little your little line where you're gonna sew your bias tape, okay? So we're gonna um, sew our bias tape on. Um, right now I'm pinning. Like I said, if I was dog on that, that sewing machine, baby, I'd be sitting here holding that thing like this. Like I'm driving. <laughs> that's pretty much what it look like. Like I'm driving and trying to get these curves on, baby. I don't like to take forever. Mm-mm. All right, so. And you just repeat this same step with your other side, other leg hole. If you don't have bias tape, I don't see nothing wrong with you. Surgeon, don't cut off anything, but surge this bra in here and then flip that sun gun over. And flip it over and so that's if you don't have any. So I mean if you don't have any bias tape, no worries. Just do a little, you know. And flip it over and sew it shut and I you know and you you good. Look at that. Now look at that. Now I done got all off track, y'all. Alright, so I have put that on. Okay, so I have my bias tape um, pin. I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to sew um, both of them down. I will also iron it, push it towards the other side, you know, to the wrong side, and I'll sew it again. And then it'll be my casing. And then when I come back, we will attach our elastic. Okay, so I have my, I have my, um, my leg casing attached with using the bias tape. So now what we're gonna do is grab your safety pin. I was a little bit more organized. I have my safety pin. I don't like this one. Okay, this one. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the, um, the snap panel. My bad, y'all. I got a little bit ahead of myself. So make sure that if you're gonna be um, adding, um, snaps to it make sure you print off the snap pa uh, panel okay all right so let's get our let's get our um elastic and we're going to thread it into our casing and repeat the same step for the other side also And we're gonna end, you see how I stopped there? And we're gonna just sew a stay stitch here, and then we're gonna thread it all over all the way around. So do that with both sides, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, so I have my elastic inside the um my leg pose here. Now we're gonna grab our we're gonna grab our panel pieces, okay? I've already um pressed one side of my panel piece up on um, a half inch okay on both of them so now grab your pins and take your panel piece and we're gonna put it right sides together okay and then we're just going to pin and sew a half inch seam allowance to attach So yeah, we're gonna sew a half inch seam allowance to attach, okay? And then what we'll do, we'll just, um, and then I'll show you how to um, finish it up when I get back. Okay, so I have my placket piece attached, and as you can see, that is the raw edge here. Well, that's the one I 
I fold over for a half inch okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plicket piece and I'm going to turn it backwards okay on top of each other be right sides together just like that I like to you see here okay so when I used to line it up with this part here I would always get like little threads and stuff and that irritated me so I decided I wanted to like maybe make it a little just the back part a little longer, just a little longer than the uh, front part. So then it'll hide whatever threads I have. So just pin and we're going to pin on both sides, just like this. And then we're going to sew along this edge here. Okay, just right up against it. So do that for your other side also. Come on, fool. All right, we're gonna take this to our machine, we're gonna sew, and then I'll trim off those raw edges here and flip it back over and sew again, but I'll show you when I get back. Okay, so I have attached my placket piece here, and I've also attached my um, snaps, okay, for the bottom. Now I'm gonna turn this over, and those, little, those markings that you made, um, you know earlier what we're gonna do we're gonna add our snaps there now if you try to if you try to add snaps over this wrinkle it's gonna pop off so you don't want to do that okay all right so we're just going to I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit and make it flat and then grab my snaps grab my snaps and then I'll snap my um my I'll put my snaps on the back of my uh, back of my top. On the back of my play suit. So let's see. And I don't want my I don't want it to be op out like this, so I want it to be in the inside. I want it to be like that. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm see where my little snap piece is there. And I'm going to snap it. <sighs> Squish it good too. snaps there and now if you want to you can take this and put this on your child to see exactly where you want the um where it you know want it to hit okay I'm just gonna measure up about a half inch see? measure up about a half inch and just press a mark and I'll go from there on both sides I'll shoot Okay, so I've added my snaps to the back of my to the back of my play suit and I've also added snaps here on the crotch seam and I am done. How cute is that y'all? Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I can't wait to see little babies with this on. So I'm your girl Jessica with Mind Made Me Do It. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. I need some subscribers. And if you're feeling real, real, you know what I'm saying, friendly, just cut my video on. You know what I'm saying? And just watch it. And, and I will help you so like a pro. Well, I ain't going to say so like a pro. I'm not even going to lie because my stuff don't even be all the way like legit, legit. You know what I'm saying? Because I do this for fun. <laughs> okay? So thank you so much for watching. Um... Click the subscribe button. Click the no notification bell. I'm planning on doing this. Um, especially with me being able to talk to y'all like this. Like, I love that. That was super awesome. So, um, head over to Little Lizard King. If you love this pattern, 
which is super cute, head over to the Little Lizard King and grab the um, Astria pattern. Okay, this will be under the baby, all right? It'll be for the baby girl, baby boy. You can, you know, and I'll link that description in my, I will link that in the description below. I got this fabric from Joanne, so I'll also link that too because it's super cute and I love it. Um, I don't know what else to say, so you guys, see ya!